96 Blitz. Brought to you by Elliott Services and Clark's Pump and Shop. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to sports. I'm Jeff Picoro. Well, West Jessamine football has some big shoes to fill this season. They lost a handful of school record-holding offensive players last season. But head coach Scott Marsh says that his team has the smarts and skills to beat opponents. Forrest Tucker has more in our ABC 36 Blitz. Coaching the West Jessamine football team doesn't feel like work for Scott Marsh and his staff. It's it's their pleasure to work with, and uh, you know it's just great coming to, coming to work every day. In Marsh's words, the team is the smartest ever and pays attention to everything, especially during the team walkthrough. Hitting the books is key for this Colts team. Just ask coach. It's kind of a mix of experienced kids in, in, in a lot of spots and, and some inex inexperience and some you know, critical spots. You know, last year was an interesting year. We kind of set the world on fire offensively. Um, set, you know, every school record under the, you know, in the books and led the state in offense, but we gave up a lot of points. Enter linebacker Cooper Longhoffer and his defense, who are working hard to hit even harder this fall. Last year we were giving up 60, 50 points a game. This, this year is really going to be different. I'm looking out for a bunch of these guys. They got my back, I got their back, and we, as a goal, do not want to give up those points again, ever. On the other side of the ball, most of the offensive line is back, and the team has a new quarterback. If the Colts can make the work in the film room and on the field come together, their dreams might just be reality. We're thinking of district championship, 100%. This, this school has not experienced a district championship yet in our football team. Uh, we are really, really, really want to do that this year. We, we really think we're capable of doing that, and we're going to win it. I believe in that. With the West Jessamine Colts, Forrest Tucker, ABC 36 Sports, always on your side. Well, thank you, Forrest. On to baseball we go. The Southeastern 12-year-old Cal Ripken League champs played in the World Series in Branson, Missouri over the past week, and yesterday they took home gold. It's a 10-day, 34-team event, and Southeastern went 4-1 and one in pool play and won three straight in the knockout rounds to face Taiwan for the championship. In the bottom of the fifth, Eli Hammonds hit a two-run double to give the Southeastern the lead, and here's the final out with Noah Pedlin on the mound. 0-1. Popped up, this could do it. The third baseman, ball game over. Ohio Valley from Southeast Lexington, Kentucky, your 2023 Cal Ripken Major 70 World Series World Champions. Final score, Ohio Valley two, Taiwan one. We're sitting in those st uh, in the dugout, and all of a sudden this chant USA starts going out, and you're like, wait a minute, you know, this is this is not just park baseball or tournament baseball. It's it's a whole lot bigger. It, it, it felt you know like maybe we were in an Olympic sport at that point in time, playing a different country. When I saw the ball fall, it was um, it's unbelievable. I, I saw it. I was I I knew I was getting two on it and. I knew I was going to get that second run in to take the lead. How cool is that? You're 12 years old and the fans are chanting USA, USA, and they bring home the trophy. Congratulations to Southeastern. Well, that's it for sports. I hope you have a great rest of your day, everyone.